Hi guys, uh, we have with us Scal Cronier. He is a very dear friend uh, and one of our mentors and advisor. He was and he is a founder of ATA, Agile Testing Alliance. He has been with us for last so many years. He has been with us for almost every conference. He has been our guru. He has been uh, whatever we ask for. So he has been one of the, the lights for us uh, in, in the entire what we call uh, the way that we have progressed so far. He, he himself is basically a Unix guru, a Linux guru. Uh, I took his first training in Gradle maybe around a decade back. If I remember, he took that in, in Bangalore. And he has been a source code contributor for some of these tools. Currently, he is a, a VP uh, of Platform Engineering at Jobble Incorporation. Uh, Scal, uh, we would like to welcome you to ATA GTR 2022 as our esteemed speaker. Thank you so much. Would it be possible for us to know a little bit more for our audience, if it's okay for you? Yeah, that's great. I'm, I'm glad to be back. It's been a long time. Yes. And uh, if you can talk about where are you right now and what are you working on and what is your interest area recently, it would be great for us to all know. Great. Yeah. So I still live out in Andorra in the mountains. Um, I think actually it was great that COVID has actually made a lot of distributed working so much better. Uh, and it's definitely for me the way to go. So about nearly three years ago, I got involved with a startup called Jobble, a US startup. And uh, I basically took on the, the platform team in, in that case, because some people might be aware, I mean, the whole bull tooling um, pipeline and, and process like that is always things that I've actually been, been very good at. And we basically took a, an engineering team that was still working in a very ad hoc way, uh, making an odd deployment here and there and having no quality processes in place. We actually took that from there to a place now where they can deploy as many times as they want a day uh, and having full quality processes in place. And we basically empowered the team to do a, a lot very easily and yet put a lot of quality into the process. Awesome. Guys, uh, uh, and his uh, topic for the conference is very interesting, which is probably related to what he has been able to transform his current job at. Uh, it's all about quality governance starts with the platform team. Uh, Scalc, would it be possible for us, uh, you to uh, let us know a little bit more about it without spilling too many beans? Yes. Well, I will start with platform engineering itself. Uh, we always, well, not always, we had this, this term floating around DevOps for a while, a couple of years. I mean, in this industry, there are these kind of buzzwords that go through. But basically, DevOps is really about sort of the integration of development teams and operations. But even there, there was quite a bit of misunderstanding. And as an industry, we have actually progressed quite a bit again since then. I actually still remember when somebody asked me that at one of the, the GDR conferences, is DevOps just uh, a buzzword? Well, it was maybe a buzzword, but it's also a very definitive term. But platform engineering really takes it a step further. It's really about building a platform for your engineering team. And as I normally tell people is, is the platform team will remove the obstacles from the rest of engineering so that they can actually build features that make the company money. So in that sense, is the platform team is also like maybe what you will call the sappers or the, the engineering teams of the military. They're the guys that go build the bridges, they remove the landmines, et cetera, so that the rest of the military can get on to do whatever work they have to do. And if you, it doesn't really matter where you have a big corporation or a startup, uh, having an effective platform team could actually make a very, very big difference in the organization. And then they're not like an overhead, they're actually part of the strategic technology direction of the company. And I actually wanted to, in this session, I'm actually going to talk a lot more about what it can bring towards quality. In short, is a platform team doesn't just build infrastructure. It actually provides governance. It provides technology leadership. It helps other teams by 
investigating technologies, maybe building the first prototypes, adding it over to the other team so that they can actually use that technology and then continue to build their features. Um, in the same sense, uh, when we're going to talk about quality, we're going to talk about what kind of quality leadership can a platform team bring to other uh, teams. And without saying too much, you know the whole problem. There's never enough testing. We all, are we only going to do testing at it late because we want to deliver features early. All of the kind of nonsense is always around in our industry. So my topic is going to focus on how can we actually bring that leadership from a platform team so it can actually support other teams. Amazing. I'm sure this would be one of those uh, topics which probably goes with the theme of the conference. It's testing beyond the obvious. I'm sure that uh, a lot of people would be very intrigued and it would basically make a foundation going forward for the next five years. You have been always in the front front of uh, front runner of the technology scalp. And I'm sure this one would be one of those topics which would be really looked forward to. I will be attending it for sure. Uh, but I don't want to talk more about it right now. Uh, I just want to know and understand how uh, are things at your end and how are things in Andorra? Uh, how long you have been there and uh, how is the IT uh, sector looking there in, in the country there? Well, Andorra is a special place in, in that regard. I mean, it's a very small country. It's still only about 75,000 people that live here. Uh, it's very, very well suited for digital nomads and um, people doing basically distributed work. Our technology sector is pretty small. I mean, it's always like a percentage of the total people that live mm -hmm. anywhere. But we have some very, very smart people that live here. Uh, I actually got one of the local people to join me and work at Jobble, uh, which has been really great. But we, especially in like the gaming market, the DLT, blockchain, crypto market, there's a lot of people here actually that do a lot of technical work. Wow. Uh, we used to have a technology meetup, but we, we tend to have skipped a bit on the, the, the deep technology things. We were rather actually focusing now on technology meetups where we look at how technology can change social life. So it's a much higher level topic, but we had some very, very interesting topics in that regard as well. So yes, I'm on the, I don't only dabble in platform engineering. As I said, uh, I do actually have a wide interest in um, all kinds of technology. Very nice, very nice. And uh, before this uh, recording uh, happened, I asked you, are you coming to India? And I heard that, yes. So can you <clears throat> let us know what exactly, and would we get a chance to maybe meet you? Can I record this as well? Yes. Uh, well, my plans are not finalized. Uh, I need to go out to Ahmedabad at some stage. I mean, that's one city I haven't been to. Uh -huh. Since the years I've known you, I've been to Bangalore, Pune, uh, Pune Mumbai. Yeah, Mumbai. I've been out to Katak and Bhubaneswar. Yeah. Uh, you've always wanted me to come out to Jodhpur. That I haven't done. So my, my next stop is going to be on the butt. Uh, there's a team out there that I have to go and spend okay. some time with. And then, yes, as soon as I can try to fit in some time just to see a little part of India that I haven't seen yet. Very nice. And Ahmedabad is a beautiful city. If I get a chance, I'll basically kidnap you from there and bring you to Jodhpur as well. <laughs> looking looking forward for that uh, scalp. Uh, anything else that you would like to share with our audience? Anything that you feel that they should be going forward to or learning something which will be with them for next few years? Okay, well, um, yes, I am going to say this. You should never let the thinking of today limit your thinking for the future. Uh, too many times we are blocked in ways that we do things because we think it's always been that way. And you have to step out of the box and think about things differently because only then can we change technology for the good for the future. Amazing, right? I think with those inspiring words, I would like to say many, many thanks, Cal, for spending some time with us. I know you are an extremely busy person and to find uh, some time has been extremely grateful for us. Thank you so much, Cal. Thanks a lot. It's my pleasure. I'll see you then in December. Yes, thank you so much.